Hello guys, welcome back to another watch addiction review. Today in front of me is the Gearbest, uh, well not the Gearbest, the Cadison. Uh, it's a Cadison automatic watch from Gearbest. Now Gearbest sells a lot of different men's watches at affordable prices. And you know, I try to pick the best ones to review. There are some dodgy watches on there, but I'm trying to pick pretty much the best ones that um, I would actually feature on this channel. And this is one of them. This watch is actually $65.99 and has a lot of good features and functions, and I think it looks pretty nice. Now, if you didn't notice, we have these kind of enlarged lugs here. I'm, I'm assuming they got that from the Longines Hydro Conquest, and a little bit of Rolex Explorer going on on the dial over here, with the big 6 and the 12, kind of in that, you know, style. But anyway, it's pretty much its own thing. Now, this watch from Gearbest... Um, first of all, all the links to the Gearbest watches will be down in the description below. But let's see what this little bad boy has to offer for $65.99. Well, let's start off with some basic dimensions here. It is a 39mm case. We get a genuine sapphire crystal, which is pretty nice. We get applied indices. The 12 and 6 are applied, and they are filled in with loom as well. I will get you guys a loom shot. We get a pull and push crown. We get 50 meters or 5 ATMs of water resistance. We get a complete 316L stainless steel case all around, highly polished sides as you can see. Uh, the crown is not signed. Uh, we do get a 20 millimeter lug width here on this black genuine leather strap, which is pretty good actually, and is quite comfortable. Uh, we do get, in terms of the movement, we do get that Miyota 8215, which some people might like and some people might not. But for $65.99, you're gonna be, it's gonna be hard to find another watch with this movement. Uh, the back, the case back is screwed down. We do get an exhibition case back. It does state Cadison, which is deeply engraved there. Automatic sapphire crystal. Uh, your model number and 5 ATMs water resistant. The crown is pull and push, as I stated. So first position is your date change, as you can see. We get those small little numbers. Uh, pretty typical of the 8215. And this movement is not hackable, so uh, when you uh, pull the crown to the final uh, time set position, as you see, that keeps running right there. But $66, not really going to complain. Push that back in. Now some other dimensions. Um, we are looking at a thickness of 12 millimeters, or about 11.8 I measured. We do get this smooth, highly polished bezel, which uh, kind of makes the watch look a bit smaller in my opinion. Uh, the watch is really not that big. As you can see, the lugs kind of curve down here. So it definitely like fits on the wrist very nicely and conforms. Lug to lug, we are looking at 43.5 millimeters. So not really a huge lug to lug, uh, you know, size there. So it should fit your wrist pretty nice, even if you have like a six inch wrist or something of that nature. Now, in, in terms of the actual weight of the watch, we're looking at 64 grams on this uh, supplied genuine leather strap by Cadison. So it's really all not that heavy, but it's enough to feel it on the wrist. As you can see, it is marked genuine leather right here. And it's kind of tan on the un underside. It does say Cadison right there. And it's completely black with that fake embossing on the top side. Now, in terms of the functions of the watch, well, we can self-wind this movement. And then we have the date, and then we have your time set position. That's pretty much it. Let me just wipe this off. So now, in terms of accuracy, which I have found, um, you know, wearing this watch for a couple days, I am losing about five seconds a day, which is really not that bad for one of these movements. The 8215s are a bit weird sometimes. Uh, they all function differently in terms of accuracy. But this one, not too bad. So, uh, you know, I can't really complain for the amount of money this watch costs. Now, some other stuff about this watch. Well, I want to get you guys a loom shot, and let's see what the loom is all about. Here is a little loom shot for you guys. As you can see, the loom is uh, definitely visible. And uh, it's, not the super, it's not the strongest loom in the world, but it's definitely visible. So let's get back to that. Now, here is the Cadison dress watch on my 6.5-inch wrist. As you can see... It fits pretty nice across the wrist. Uh, just perfect size for my 6.5 inch wrist. And the strap, not all that bad. I mean, we even get a signed Cadison polished buckle over here as well. Two safety tabs over here. And all in all, I think, you know, it looks pretty nice, close up and from a distance. 
Uh, certainly, you know, good look for $65.99. We have that automatic Miyota 8215 movement. It's a very reliable movement, not the most accurate movement in the world, not the most expensive movement in the world, but it's certainly one that works. And for this price point, that is probably the best you're going to find. So that's pretty much going to sum it up for today. For $65.99 on GearBest.com, I think this is one of the best picks they have, in my honest opinion. And just look at that polished bezel. That, that's what really spoke to me about this one. Uh, the case is pretty well built. I like those lugs that droop down a little bit. As you can see, conforms to the wrist very nice with those lugs. And I think it's a uh, pretty decent watch for the money. So let me know what you guys think of the Caddison Automatic from GearBest.com. Please like, share, hit the subscribe button, and the little bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a video. Uh, you can check out the link to this watch down in the description below. And hope to see you guys soon. Take it easy. Bye.